He might be coming to the auction tonight. I'm comparing. <laughs> Do I have much choice? Are you going to dress like a slave and all? Well, I suppose I could cut up an old cassock. Yeah, well, Louise is bound to put a bid in for your services. She must really like you to have reacted the way she did last night. Yes. Yes, I suppose so. Sounds like a laugh. Shall we go? A little bit better than Andy and Katie's party. I might even answer. You, as a slave, what use would you be? I wouldn't mind a woman as my master for the day. Am I supposed to be getting jealous? No. Some things will be off limits, so you're all right. Are you really going to enter? Why not? Of course, it's all right you saying you're going to Mallorca, love, but you haven't even got a flight yet. Trust me, Betty, I know what I'm doing. Always go last minute me, saves a fortune. I mean, it's not as if I've got much to spend. Quite fancy going on holiday myself. Oh, here we are. Two weeks in Palma Nova. £295? Sounds a lot to me, love. Oh, oh, it's for two. Eh? Why don't you come with me? To Mallorca? Yeah. Tomorrow? What better way to see in November? And that's not here, so you don't have to worry about him. Come on! Leave last minute for once. Now, now I'm supposed to be saving my money up so I can join in in Australia. You'll hardly spend a thing. We'll just lie on the beach, drink vodka, and give the beach chunks marks out of ten. Well, as, as you put it, let's do it. <laughs> oh, we can have a ball, Betty! <laughs> hey! Who'd have thought I'd be seeing the other side of the clouds again before the year was out? <laughs> oh, right, now that leaves me £200, 180 for my holiday and £20 for tonight. Oh, you mean for slave auction? £20 to bid for Ashley. I mean, I know he's still single at the minute and you've got to grab your chances. PC, fax machine, telephone, everything you need. You shouldn't have done this. I have to get back to Westminster anyway. Oh, don't go yet. I'm only just getting used to having you around. I never get to see Gloria when she's at Westminster. Ended up married to the job. She certainly works very hard. Yes, I know. And I'd never want to get in the way of her other life, so to speak, but... Uh, well, you do know what I mean, don't you? What it means to me, having her near. She's a very special lady. I wish I had what you've got. <laughs> I think you're rather like me, spending far too much time and energy on your work. And Gloria came along. <laughs> You'll find someone special soon. There used to be a gay lad who lived next door to the vets. Shame we weren't around then, eh? Well, I'll leave you to it. Palmer Nova? Why not? Well, a little bit full of drunken hedonists. And you're going to Australia soon. So? I'm allowed more than one break, aren't I? Years I've put in. And Laurel, well, she hasn't had holiday since I've known her. Oh, yes, she has. On a long haul with the fairies <laughs> since day one. Hiya! <laughs> See what I mean? Uh, Laurel, you look a picture. Oh, thanks. Uh, it's just something I've cobbled together. <laughs> oh, well done. You look fantastic. Are you sure? I don't look like Frankie Howard. No, no, it's perfect. Evening, Ashley. Hoping to fetch a high price this evening. Oh, maybe a few pence. Well, you can rest assured there'll be at least one keen bidder. Really? Well, between you and me, Laurel, if she wins me tonight, I'll be a very happy slave indeed. Oh. <laughs> oh it's all right. All right, no See ya. That was Donna. She reckon she's not coming either now. Why? I said she promised her mum she'd go to the auction. I don't believe this. All this effort we've gone to and everyone's pulling out. Robert Elaine didn't even have a good excuse. So what are we going to do then? I don't know. Maybe we could have a, a party of our own, eh? <laughs> I'm going out. Well, what for? I'm going trick-or-treating. I don't think you are. <laughs> you caused enough trouble yesterday. I'm more joking. I was. We want you back by half nine, OK? You don't want to keep your mum waiting. Yeah, yeah. Not that she minds keeping us waiting. Whatever. Great. I think you've got some explaining to do. Meaning? Did you tell Eric I was gay? Well, 
I'm sorry. It just seemed like a good thing to say at the time. Why? So that he wouldn't worry I was sleeping with his wife? Keep your voice down, and I am not sleeping with you. It happened once. So why lie to him? Hillary. If you're so over me, you wouldn't have told him I was gay. You wouldn't have felt the need. I felt the need because... I felt the need because you won't leave me alone. You've convinced yourself that I'm as obsessed with you as you are with me. Well, what about yesterday? You would have kissed me if you hadn't been disturbed. No, I wouldn't. Please, just stop this. You are driving me mad. Gloria! No more worrying about it. Exactly. I'm going to lose the baby tomorrow. Paul's doing a job in Harrogate with Sid, so it's the perfect opportunity. Well, you feel so much better when all this is over and done with. You know you will. Well, I've got to be practical now, haven't I? I can't have him telling any more people I'm pregnant. There's no reason I should find out. It'll be fine. That's more like it. Then hopefully things can start getting back to normal. Yeah. Cheers. Are you all right, mate? I'm fine, thanks. Are you sure? You look as if the world's about to come to an end. No, really, I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Envy. Guaranteed to whistle while I work, ladies. Hey, I just said you're taken. <laughs> <laughs> Who pay for that imbecile? <laughs> well, we all know who you'd like to have at your beck and call. <laughs> hey, oh, and right on cue. Oh, evening all. Oh, well done, Jarvis. <laughs> Is it all right if I bid for you? Well, why not? It's only meant to be a bit of fun, isn't it? Well, as nobody knows where an item, they might suspect. Well, at least time we came clean. It's been up for a week, you know. What, what are you two whispering about? <laughs> Nothing. Is this uh, part of your escapology yet? Amongst other things. <laughs> Bob, do I want to hear this? <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know what I was thinking agreeing to attend this filth fueled charade with you. Oh, give over, woman. You were banking on my front door at 7.30 sharp. She was desperate to get best seat. <laughs> Only because I wanted to avoid the trick-or-treaters. Oh, you'll be getting a treat, all right. Ooh. I know you don't want company, but I bought you a drink. Thanks. Now, come on, love. Why so miserable? Right then, I think it's about time we got this slave auction underway. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hope nobody gets murdered like on talent night. How are you saying? That's more like it. Four pounds from the lady in the shell suits. Any more for any more? No? Gully wants. He's going twice. And he's sold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know where fuck me. I shouldn't really talk about it. Well, don't feel like you have to. Though, if I may make a guess. Well, I do appear to have walked in on a couple of moments lately. Are you and Gloria lovers? I love her, yes. I've said it now. I really love her. I had no idea. Only now she tells me she's not going to leave her husband for me. And when we were in London, she swore she would, and since I've come here, it's like I've been forgotten. Oh, poor old thing. You won't tell anyone, will you? Me? Oh, if there's one thing you can depend on, Hilary, it's my discretion. Right then, slave number three, Len Reynolds! Yeah! Now, ladies and gentlemen, who's going to start the bidding? Two pounds. Oh, is that all? Is that all? No talking from the slave. Oh. Two pounds from the lady in red. Not the first time she's paid for a man, I shouldn't think. Any advance on two pounds? Oh, go on, Edna. You know you want him. I want no such thing. Come on, you lot. Some money the Historical Society's going to make at this rate. Ten pounds. Oh, 
What are you doing? Ten pounds from Betsy. Eleven pounds. And twelve. Thirteen. Twenty! Why is he so popular all of a sudden? Never mind, Jarvis. I'd have paid a fiver for you. <laughs> Any advance on twenty pounds? No. He's going once. No, no, He's going twice. So to <laughs> Betsy! No, that is a going away present for you, Edna. Me and Laurel. Well, we couldn't see you lost for company while we're sitting in the sun, up in Sangria. This is a right love. You should have nights like this more often. Yeah. Having a real time. Um, are you sure that's just orange juice? Yeah. Now, Colin, you know, it's lovely. It's got to look a bit you're playing at Siobhan, you're pregnant. Oh, for God's sake, it's one drink. What arm's it going to do? Oh, I think you've had a lot more than one. Sorry to outbid you, Pearl. Better luck next time. Oh, no need to apologise. Just look after him, that's all. And make sure you return him safely to me. What do you mean? Oh, didn't you know? Leonard and me are an item. Have been since last week. What happened when Jarvis took you home? Did you get done? Yeah, you're supposed to keep your lookout. Yeah, I know. Sorry about that. What are you doing down here then? It's Halloween. I thought you had some mates to hang around with. Yeah, well, I come looking for you, didn't I? Yeah. No, don't flatter yourself. Yeah, what's that cross doing over there? It's a dog, I think. I just called Edna and she's the right old Mona. A dog? Yeah, it's his grave. In a garden? Why not? I've never seen a dog skeleton before. All right. I'm going home, you're coming a lot. I think I'll stay here a bit. Sit yourself then. Ooh! A lean machine, if ever I saw one, now it will give me a fiver for Robert's services. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> so you girlfriend. a friend. <laughs> Bit stingy, aren't you, love? <laughs> Any advance on a fiver? 30. Donna! <laughs> Do I hear 31? No. He's going once. He's going twice. And he's sold! <laughs> Oh, he's going to know the meaning of the word slave by the time I've finished with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we have a late addition to the auction? Ah, uh, no, 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 we're just here to uh, support the cause. Oh, what a shame. About time the local slave driver got a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> she only did that to get at me. Look at her standing there all smug. Yeah, well, don't let her get to you. She ain't going to get much for 30 quid. She better not. Have you seen Steph jetting him out? <laughs> Vanishing you. You what? That he's gay. She'll be furious when she realises she's had a wasted evening. I think we should go home. We just arrived. Well, I know, but I don't want Hillary to think he can't have a night out without bumping into the two of us. <laughs> it's a village. What does he expect? Even so. All right. Just pay a visit. Well, there you go. Ready for you. Edna, where are you going? Yorkshire's not over yet. No, oh, I've got better things to do with my time. Well, I'll give you three guesses. Len, well. get after her. Who, oh, me? You are her slave now. Come on. Now, everybody, up next, we have somebody that I know quite a few of you would like to see do a bit of hard labour. Yeah. Come on, Ashley! <laughs> Get away from there this instant. How could you? Look what you've done, you evil child. 
What the blazes do you think you're playing at? I just wanted to look at the bones. I can't believe that this is happening. So you think it's OK to dig up graves, do you? You are not going to get away with this. I haven't done all... You certainly have, my lad. Right. I'm taking up some of your brother. Now, move. A man of good deeds, aren't you? I try my best. Yeah, well, you'll be trying your hardest for some lucky lady after tonight. So who's going to start me off? Five pounds over here. Five pounds from the stylish lady over there. Any advance on a fiver? At ten. Fifteen! <laughs> what sort of cheapo market is this? Hundred subs. Hundred pounds! I want twenty pounds was my limit. Oh, no, you, you, you can't bid any higher than hundred, love. It's all your holiday savings. Hundred one! Oh, I have 101. I didn't know you were going to be here. I've just been having a cosy little tater tate with your handsome friend. Really? Mm. He's been very forthcoming. I didn't know you were such a woman of passion. <laughs> How about the faintest idea of what you're talking about? Well, let me spell it out for you. I think we need to talk about money. Unless you want your husband to, uh... Well, I think you get my gist. Good night. What was all that about? Oh, nothing. Come on, let's get out of here. Any more for any more. Oh, why not? 110 from yours, truly. 120. Oh. Blimey. The vicar's popular tonight, isn't he? 130. 160 pounds. Oh, what shall I do? If I put any high, I'll be on soft drinks all on. Any advance on £160? Don't do it, love! £160 and one pence! <laughs> what about me, Yorker? He wants me better. You heard what he said when he came in. Oh. He was digging at the soil with his bare hands. How many more times? I wanted to see what it looked like. I would have put it back. How could you? How could you think to do such a thing? Oh, Edna, we are so sorry. It's just a dog. It's not just a dog. Oh, you will pay for this. One way or another, you will pay for this. If there's any damage, we'll sort it. It's not about the cost, Andy. You're supposed to be looking after him, are you? Yeah. Then stop letting him run wild through the village, then. Oh, how can you expect them to look after him? They're still irresponsible teenagers themselves. We're not irresponsible, Edna. Then how did you let this happen? Evening. Sorry I'm so late. <laughs> What's going on? Right, then. This is your last chance, everybody. Is anybody going to outbid our laurel? At £160, and one pence for Ashley. <laughs> Two hundred pounds. <gasps> Any advance on two hundred? Going once, going twice, and sold to the Antipodean beauty from behind the bar. <laughs> My love, why would you want him as your slave, eh? It's hardly the physical type. Right then. Next up, we have Bob. And don't even think about moving in on him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was just messing around. It's not on Denise. Don't have a go at me. It's only a dead dog. Hardly sacred. How can you say that? It's not only a dead anything, it was digging up a grave. Well, now you know what I have to put up with. It's Eloise, shut up. Look, Denise, you've got to sort him out. It's been nothing but trouble all week for us. Don't you tell me what I need to sort. If you kept more of an eye on him, this wouldn't have happened. Denise, if you hadn't dumped him on us, then we wouldn't be taking the rap for it. I told him I'd be away till today. Yeah, well, you didn't tell us, though, did you? Charming. We have raised five hundred and twenty pounds. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Louise. <laughs> well.
Why did you bid so much for me? Well, um, I guess it's because I like you. <laughs> Didn't Chastity tell you? I felt sure that she would have said something after last night. Well, maybe she mentioned something. I think we've both been as bad as each other misreading the signs. I'm afraid I've never been very good at picking up on um, these sort of things. Well, we can just put all that behind us now. Yes. That is, if you feel the same way. <laughs> this is very flattering. I mean, you are so beautiful. You really are. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, you seem a bit... I've just said, I'm fine. Thank you.